Hello, this is a quick video on how to factory reset the Sky router or Q hub called ER115. So this is the model which doesn't have oh, sorry, which, yeah, doesn't have the power supply built in. It has a power supply which plugs in at the wall and then the low voltage goes into the back of the router. In my demonstration here, I've set and then forgotten the IP address which the hub is on and I want to go back to the factory settings. So over here is a ping window pinging the default IP address of the uh, uh, Sky router which is 192.168.0.1 and it's not responding at the moment because I've forgotten the IP address. This one's incredibly easy to factory reset. It also takes a very long time to reboot, so you need to be patient when you've pressed the factory reset button. So the reset button is on the back here. If you do a momentary press, the router just reboots and keeps all of its settings. You have to uh, keep that held down for about 11 seconds until the light on the front goes from red and then starts flashing green again. So I'll let you know when I start pressing it and keep an eye on the power light which should go red when I start pressing it and then will flash green and that's when I'll let go of pressing the button. So I'm going to start pressing the reset button now and the power light has gone red. And it started flashing green and I'm going to let go now. And now we wait a very long time. So it might not be good colour rendition on this video, but that light has gone red again. And as I mentioned, it takes forever to reboot. The power light has now gone green, but it still won't be ready to use until the wireless light is on. And even then, it doesn't seem to hand out an IP address over the network cable for uh, at least probably 10 seconds after that. And there we go, probably two minutes later after pressing the reset button, the uh, wireless light is now switched on. My laptop doesn't seem to automatically get a new IP address, so I'm just going to run ipconfig forward slash renew. And uh, I'll know it works because it will uh, start pinging over here, but also I'll probably get the Sky interstitial uh, message saying that the broadband is down because I don't have this plugged into a broadband line uh, where the router intercepts requests and then tells the operating system to show essentially uh, is uh, what's a captive portal so as you can see even though the wireless light is on it actually still isn't ready to hand out an IP address to a computer so we're still waiting probably nearly three minutes for this entire uh, the router to actually finish booting and be ready
And there we go, it finally received an IP address. And uh, as I say, Windows has detected that the router itself is complaining that there's no internet plugged in uh, and coming up with that captive portal. Um, but the ping over here is now responding with the default IP address of the Sky Q Hub, or the uh, model number was it? It was the ER115 Sky Router. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you.